Hi there. So I wanted to show you my truck collection, which I put on Mud.io, but since there are mostly DLC trucks in there, I can't publish it. Um, I can only um, upload it as private mod, which I did. I also uploaded the base star, both versions I made. And all the other in-game trucks I tweaked, uh, which are 16, I made a mod out of that. And yeah, if I invite you, you can download it and uh, use it. This is how private mods work. And yeah, I wanted to show you all 16 in uh, the proving grounds. But I won't make the video too long, I think. So we will just uh, over, uh, go over them and uh, have a look so let's jump in there and go to the drugstore so you see here this is my off-road based star version there is a separate video on both of them I upgraded the tires though and uh, other small things, my improved western star, then we have uh, a tweak of the bore, which is next, uh, also tweak the navi star a little bit, um, the cat 770G, especially the steering on that one, this is my road version of the base star, and yeah, <coughs> the Pacific P12, another cat, bandit, um, my favorite western star tweak, I also tweaked the cat 745 and added the logging add-on even though it doesn't work properly as of yet, I added the the can, but uh, I didn't tweak much on that thing. What else have we here? In my off-road version of the Western Star, of course, uh, the Pacific P16, I tweaked the suspension a lot more uh, than you saw it in the last videos. Um, I did the Ford F. 7050 and of course the Apache. So, what did I do here? Um, better engines, better gearbox? No, no, the gearbox I didn't change. I added uh, another suspension and you can see quite a difference. So, and it is an active suspension too. And yeah. I upgraded the tire so it's much more capable now even though it's still uh, a pretty weak truck so <coughs> what did I do with the Ford? Um, no that's all standard I think mostly just the tires and offline winch well, every one of those works offline and yeah, the all-wheel drive is pre-installed, so nothing too interesting. And here I added the uh, active suspension and I tweaked the suspension, so it is uh, much better in terrain where there are a lot of hills and other obstacles. And of course I added my... Uh, special gearbox set and special engine set so a lot more power if you want to otherwise uh, it is the same than in the normal game and I added the lock carrier of course which is not yet in the game um, let's go to the next one then yeah uh, there is a separate video on uh, my western star tweaks all three of them so I want uh, go into that too much but I uh, added uh, those tires which I think look uh, much better and there are a lot of engine options this is the 
most powerful one I use on this truck normally. Um, yeah. Otherwise, you can look that machine up in another video I made. Um, yeah, with the car I didn't do too much. So or an offline winch, I don't even have to show you that. Um, on this machine, I added a higher suspension because uh, if you go there and add a uh, few uh, water tank add-on, um, there would be a conflict with the tires. Otherwise, this is not usable as of now. As of now, maybe for it's made for phase three, season four. Uh, say season four, phase four. I don't know, but it's uh, in the game files. And also the lock carrier add-on, which uh, is usable. You can put single locks on them, but you can't pack them yet. So that is that. Then we have the bandit. Yeah, ugly color. But uh, yeah, mostly it has a little bit more power. It has an active suspension. I think it didn't have that in the base game. And uh, more tire options, of course. So <coughs> it's more capable also than the standard version. But uh, yeah, not an overpowered machine. So this is uh, um, the next uh, version, which I won't go into details here also. The only thing I really like, which I added recently and wanted to show you are those tires. They uh, look pretty good on this truck and uh, they are the biggest option right now I have on that machine. So yeah I didn't do much on the cat so it's just a few improvements pinch power tires but uh, let me show you how much better this truck looks with a higher suspension and those big tires. Or maybe even go for the for the version which works on ice. So and put an add-on on that thing. So, because this is uh, kind of my favorite rescue truck, if you don't have to use a grain, this gets you for pretty much anything. And uh, it looks good, I think. So, let's go a little bit into the mud see how it does there. Didn't. Yeah, maybe I should activate all wheel drive for that now. And it goes even through the deep mud, but yeah, not too fast. Still. So, that's a really good machine now. Well, it was before, but uh, yeah, I really like those tires. Let's go back. What else do we have? Uh, yeah, um, nothing too much to hear you on the base tires. There is a separate video too, which you can look up. I didn't comment uh, the first video I made of the base start week. But uh, yeah, I added uh, those tires, which look very good. And the specialty of that machine, uh, of course, are the many add-ons. For example, you can have a flatbed and that grain. Or if you put a saddle on it, the flatbed goes to the front. And you can make a road drain out of it, kind of. Uh, deliver eight slots of cargo, which is which is really useful on some occasions and it has an overpowered engine if you install uh, 
the fuel tank, which I added a lot more fuel to this add-on, so it is so heavy you have to use uh, the most powerful engine or the second most. And then it's quite capable. Now, yeah, this machine, I can show you, of course, it has all the special uh, options on the engine and gearbox. And uh, I made an active suspension on it. It has a more powerful winch and uh, yeah, bigger fuel tank, or you can use the normal one too. And uh, I improved the steering a lot, so it's a lot quicker as you can see, and now it's really drivable. Also, you can uh, buy the trailer from the missions and uh, yeah. Use it for fun, I guess. So I added the trailer also, and as you can see, it's really powerful now. Let's go with the active suspension. And it has an all wheel drive, so if it gets stuck, so here I should get stuck, can. I think you can get out with the all-wheel drive. So now it is really pretty powerful. Eh? Alright, that's uh, too much weight I think. But we won't rescue that now. Let's jump to the next machine. Yeah, the Navi star is also, there's not much difference. Of course, you have a lot of engine options. You can make it overpowered if you want to. You can go for a lot of different uh, gearboxes. I added an active suspension, um, better tires, and I think I made them a little bit bigger or added some. Not sure, yeah, definitely added that one. So, not much to show you here, but yeah, same here, the bore, I did show you uh, the machine in some videos already, I think, I prefer the Pacific colors on it, it has also a lot of uh, power, if you want to, you can choose between, yeah, you see the traction in there, so 50 is very high, 30 is high do, and a lot of in between, and you can't really add bigger tires because they are so close, the back, uh, the, the double wheels in the back are so close to each other, you can't make the tires bigger, otherwise they would uh, clip into each other, so that was the bore, which is pretty powerful already, I didn't have to tweak much there. The, <coughs> the normal Western Star version, which has the lift axle and power on the lift axle too, if you want. Uh, so, if you... I can show it to you. So, um, normally it just has uh, the last two wheels. Um, Connected, but you can connect all four, which on streets it looks ridiculous, of course. But once you go into the mud, now it's very useful to don't uh, raise your lift axle, and uh, this way you get even quicker through the mud than if you would uh, lower the axle or over stones, so and that machine should also be able to help out the cat, I think. Let's try that for a second. Not if it is in the way. Alright. 
very slow moving, I think. Okay, yeah. This is really deep mud. Something left, yeah. Of course, the base star, which if you go with the big tank, you kind of have to use the most powerful engine. Otherwise, uh, I prefer uh, a little bit less power on it, so it doesn't get too ridiculous. Yeah, those tires look very good. And of course, uh, I already shown you this one, but I tweaked it further so it has no permanent uh, lock differentials. Uh, just the off-world version, the normal net, the all-world drive is pre-installed, so you don't have to search for the upgrade. Of course, you can put uh, grain on it, but let's go with this. And the high saddle, no, the low saddle, and maybe... A different color, uh, whatever. <coughs> so this is a very powerful setup, made for off-road and it's very stable to drive if you add uh, the step deck trailer. So this also included in my mod bag is an uh, off-road uh, version of the step deck trailer where is it? This is it. so with this setup you can add eight uh, cargo slots uh, two in the front and six on the on the flatbed or step deck and yeah this is very useful in uh, in the Yukon and also for the upcoming missions from phase 3 uh, which are mostly yeah not all of them but for example the paper mill contracts you really have to transport a lot of cargo there so you can do that in less trips with uh, this setup and because it has a steering axle um, the last axle is made uh, made into a steering axle. It gets around corners pretty easy. So, as you can see, yeah, I use that machine a lot for those contracts. Well. I think uh, that's it. I showed you everything a little bit. Uh, most of the tweaks are not that special, but they add the DLC trucks to the game. Um, so everything which is locked in the files, uh, yeah, you can still tweak it and unlock it if you put it into a private mod, like I did. And since I added a few of those vehicles because I didn't have uh, them on my PC version, just on the PlayStation, like the Navistar. Um, I tweaked them a little bit, but not as much as, for example, um, the base star here or the three Western Star versions I made. So, yeah, if... Uh, I will put the link to the mod down into the description, I think, but I'm not sure if you uh, if you can download it without me um, inviting you. So I think I would have to invite you over mod.io and then you could download all those tweaks or just the two base stars I made because they are in a separate file so for people which are interested in my base stars um, I could give them 
uh, a way uh, to some people pretty easy now. They I just would have to invite them via mod IO. So write me if you are interested. And that's it for now. So goodbye everyone.